Here's a tip on how to create um, sort of an intercom speaker uh, grill with holes on a sphere or a circle, if you wanted a roundy kind of shape. Um, this is a bit of a workaround because for me, Blender 2.8 crashes 99% of the time when I use the spin tool. And I think that's a relatively common problem. Um, and it happens mostly when I'm doing uh, my screen recording, so it's not ideal. So I'm going to have to use um, a workaround. So I'm just in standard uh, situation here. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring in a plane. And I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to subdivide it a bunch of times. Uh, I'm going to be wrapping this around a sphere. so. You know, do something like that, or maybe maybe even one more. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in a cylinder, and I'm just going to use the default values. Let's scale this down. This is going to be the size of the holes of the speaker. Now, it would be fantastic to use the spin tool, but I, like I say, it's just not working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Shift D, and I'm going to copy this up the approximate distance from the middle that I want it. I'm going to set the origin to the 3D cursor and shift the rotate Z 180. I'm going to select both of them, shift D, rotate Z 90. I'm going to select all of them, shift D, rotate Z 45. Now you'll notice that they're overlapping, so I'm going to take all of these, or you can just hide the plane in A to select everything. Switch over to individual origins and go into into uh, edit mode for everything. Actually, let's go into edit mode now. Come on, select everything. There we go. Edit mode, and now I can S to scale them down to the approximate size I want. Let's say that's the size that I want for my holes. Okay, bring back my plane. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select another one of these guys, Shift D, and I'm going to bring it out. Again, I'm just doing it by hand, uh, and I'm sort of trying to match the distance here with this, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to set the origin of the 3D cursor again, Shift D, Rotate Z, 180. Select both, Shift D, Rotate Z, 90. Select everything, Shift D, Rotate Z, 45. And I'm going to select everything here. Shift D, rotate Z, 22.5. And I get this. I'm going to hide the plane again. So I've got that. And I'm going to try my best to um, select everything and Control J, join them all together. And that looks OK. Bring back my plane. Now, I think what I'll do is I'm going to look at my plane and I'm going to scale it in to sort of match the dots a little bit more. I want a little bit of room on each side. Okay, cool. So I'm going to take my plane. I'm going to choose Boolean with difference. With the eyedropper, I'm going to select that. Have a quick look. Hit apply. Everything looks good. So I'm going to delete those and I've got my, my holes and they look okay. Okay, with that done, I'm just going to move it up just a little bit. Shift A, Mesh, UV Sphere. I'm going to use the default values for that as well. I'm going to come in, 1, and wireframe. I'm going to chop off. I can chop off just the bottom right there. That's That would be fine. Select it all and scale in the Z. I don't want it quite that curved, so I want to tame that a little bit. Let's go back into Solid View. And I'm going to go Control 2 for two subdivisions and shade smooth. Okay, so here's where the good part comes in. I'm going to select my plane with the holes, add modifier, um, shrink wrap. And for my target with the eyedropper, I'm going to choose that. I'm going to click apply. Holes look okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's see, we can do one of two things. Let's look down from the top and in wireframe. And in edit mode, I'm going to select the central point of my sphere. Control plus, I'm going to come out a little ways and I'm going to just X faces. This is just one style of making this the speaker thing. 
All right, now I'm gonna go back into my holes and I'm gonna hit ED extrude and I'm gonna come up just a little bit to give it a little bit of thickness. Um, I can pull that down under. I'll do some more work on that in a second. Uh, if you want, you can hit shade smooth and if it looks ugly, which it will, you can just come over here to normals and auto smooth and it'll be a little bit better. Uh, it'll also be a little bit better if we move it above here and put on, see the cavity shader with that matte cap, that's fine, like that. And then what you can do is you can take this and go into edit mode and you could just go E and Alt S and push to give it some thickness this way and then and then start messing around with it uh, where we want. Now, you'll notice that this has edges here which may cause a problem for you depending on the style like for example uh, if this was really flat and I was doing that it's like ah oh, it doesn't you know it sticks out and you know you might be able to mess around with it uh, one thing you can do is you can um, figure out okay I want it you know, maybe maybe I need to scale this out a bit more let's say to there okay and I and and I want a flat surface beyond that um, what you could do is you could get a circle, shift D, just bring it up, P to break it out. I don't need a subdivision surface on this. Let's get rid of that. Here, let me even hide that. You'll see what I'm getting at. I'm going to take this circle here, E, and make a cylinder, basically. I have to close it up, so I have to make a face. I have to make a face. And just make sure that all the polys are facing the right way. Okay, so it's like I want to cut through that. So I only want, you know, I only want this part to be, to exist. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to go Boolean. And this time I'm going to choose uh, Intersect uh, with that guy and I'm going to hit Apply. And now I can delete that and I have cut that. It's Alt H to the size that I wanted it. And you know, I may have to do a little bit of editing, whatever. But at least it doesn't, you know, go off the side so that if I needed to um, scale the Z, flatten this a bit more, I could get that to fit. Okay, in fact, let's uh, get rid of this down there. That's better. Okay, so, you know, that's a technique for getting the holes in. Uh, maybe you want it more curved than that. So you just, you know, work on that. Um, again, it's a workaround around the, the spin tool, which is crashing uh, quite frequently, unfortunately. Cool.